Staying in touch, no matter where you are. A commitment to world-class communications design. A tradition of excellence, built on uncompromised performance and reliability. Meeting the demands of everyday use and sometimes accidental abuse makes Motorola your best choice in cellular communication. Hello? Yeah. For most of us, learning to do even the simplest task is made easier if we see it demonstrated first. So, for the next 10 minutes, we'll show you what you need to know for daily phone use. While your phone may not look exactly like our demonstration model, the difference is only skin deep. Feature levels and operation are exactly the same. Now, let's get ready to use your phone. Press power whenever you want to turn your phone on or off. As the phone powers up, it performs a split-second system check to ensure it's working properly. If your phone is locked, this is the first message you'll see. Your phone is programmed to unlock by pressing 1, 2, 3. If your salesperson changed the code to a number of your choice, enter it instead. If you make a mistake, press clear and start again. When the green light appears, your phone is on. The signal strength meter will always appear whenever your phone is on and unlocked. If the display disappears, don't worry. Battery power is preserved when your phone is not in use. Just press clear to recall the display. Of course, if you receive a call, the display will relight automatically. Before placing or receiving a call, power must be on, the phone unlocked, and the no service indicator off. If no service appears, you're either outside your cellular phone company's service area or inside a structure blocking the signal. Just remember, no service must be off to use your phone. To place a call, enter the telephone number. If you miss dial, press clear and dial again. To start calling, press send. If you hear this, it may mean the service system is full and can't handle your call immediately. If this happens, press send again. Your phone will attempt to complete the connection by automatically redialing the number. A ring alert will sound if redial is successful. If it's not, cancel at any time by pressing end. Once your call is in progress, in use will appear. If roam appears, your call is being carried by another cellular phone company. This is normal when you're traveling. But if roam stays on, even in your home service area, reprogram your phone to select your cellular phone company service first before it looks for alternate service. And of course, when your call is finished, make sure you press end to terminate the connection. Receiving a call is almost identical to placing a call. Again, power must be on, the phone must be unlocked, and no service must be off. When the phone rings, press send to answer. When your call is through, press end to cancel the connection. When you're done using your phone or must leave it unattended, secure it from unauthorized use by locking it. To lock your phone, just press the lock button. After six seconds, your phone will shut off automatically. If any calling features have been changed from the standard factory setting, this little box indicator will remind you each time you power up your phone. To see exactly which features have been changed, press Function, 9, Recall. After the first message appears, press Recall repeatedly to scroll through the list. To end your review, press End. Hi. 
adjusting volume levels can add to your comfort and convenience. To raise or lower the volume you hear in the earpiece, press and hold the volume button until you hear the level you want. The volume meter will let you see, as well as hear, the highest and lowest settings available. You can also adjust the phone's ringer to receive incoming calls. Just press function and then hold the volume button to raise or lower the sound level. Using turbo dial, you can dial any phone number stored in the first three memory locations by pressing just one button. To place a call, just press and hold the memory location key for a second. You don't need to press send. It's important to know that the first position, key number one, is reserved for your local emergency number because you can dial it even if the phone is locked. And every time you place or receive a call, the signal strength meter lets you know if you're in a strong or weak reception area. Simply put, the more bars that appear, the stronger the signal and the clearer your reception. Anytime you want a quick reference check of your own cellular phone number, you can call it up by pressing recall and pound. To cancel the display, just press clear again. Your phone features a built-in battery charging system and two adapter units. Use the AC adapter at home or the automotive plug while you're in your car. As your battery power gets lower, you'll see this message on the display. And when it's almost completely discharged, you'll hear this warning. If you find your battery is not being charged when you use the cigarette lighter adapter, it may be nothing more serious than a blown fuse. To check it, unscrew the adapter plug. If the filament wires inside the fuse are broken, replace it. While replacement fuses are readily available, make sure the new fuse has the same specifications as the original. While we've shown you the basics of daily phone use, there are a variety of features which haven't been demonstrated here. Please read your owner's manual carefully to make sure you get the most out of your new cellular phone. If you need further assistance or wish to offer suggestions about additional features you'd like to see demonstrated on video, how may I help you? Please call the Cellular Customer Response Center.